So just come to number 10 of the Pilates Qigong 18 form sequence. Um, hands in clouds, this one. Benefits the eyes when it comes across the eye line, benefits the eyes um, and the pericardium in Chinese medicine. They believe that to be the one or two benefits. Um, and this will benefit the pericardium, the heart lining. They're the meridians or the organs that are benefiting there, but we're going to go a lot more detail with the Pilates setup and then the breathing. So basically it's Pilates breathing in with the Qigong sequence. So again, same deal, zip up pelvic floor, scoop back the abdominals. Again, optional, how much you gather in. Generally about 30%, 30 to 25% of that maximum pulling in power of the pelvic floor and the corset. Okay, engaging the pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, taking the navel towards the spine. If you want to do more, feel free. But again, 30% is more than adequate of tucking the belly button and zipping up pelvic floor. You're going to breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips and calibrate and synchronize the breath with emotion. Bit of a complex one, this one with the breathing, but go very slow on it so you get it. Um, and then, yeah, show you the different speeds. So again, it's the same deal. You can go start up high or go down as low, go to a horse riding stance pretty much with it. But I'm going to start up high and then just maybe go deeper. So again, I'm going to come back. Start off in a sort of basic stance there, hip width apart. Again, the hands are gonna change. I'll just go for the movement before I'm mixing the breath. So again, from here, you're just gonna have the top palm facing the floor, the bottom palm, which is the right palm at the moment, facing the ceiling. Now when they change, when they go past each other, they change. So again, this glides across the eye line and then you do the same the other way. So again, this palm, the top palm faces down towards the floor, which is my right palm. My left palm goes upwards, supinates up towards the ceiling. Okay, and then they change and they go across the eye line. You turn and you come back. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper with this. So again, it's like two pairs of scales changing from one side to the next. This glides across the eye line and you come and you just follow the hands. And again, I'm gonna mix the breathing in with that. And we go a little bit deeper into horse riding stance again. So again, you're breathing in to the center and you exhale and empty to the side. You're gonna breathe in the center and you're gonna exhale the side. So you're breathing in here and you're exhaling. And you're breathing in to here and you exhale in. Okay, keep your tension at the shoulders and you're just moving across the eye line here. Again, breathing in the center, exhaling to the side. If you want to go deeper, you can do to here. Again, you can change the speed. If you change the speed, you can you can go quite fast with the speed. But again, I find the elongated out breath is a lot better with these sort of dynamic ones that are flowing constantly because it's a bit hard to catch up on the breath. It comes, it's quite fast the breath. Again, you can do that staccato breath. Again, that's an energizing effect on the body. This sort of speed. Again, nice sort of cleansing breath, that. But I find the elongated out breath. You can do the slow breath, breathing into here and exhaling, like I just said. Or I find the elongated out breath better for these flowing sequences. So you're breathing in just to start. And then you exhale for as long as you like.
again, I find that a lot easier, the elongated out breath. But you can, I'll come a little bit closer. Again, you're coming here and you're exhaling. That, when you're doing that fast, that is quite hard to keep up with. Like that. So again, you try all three different breathing there, types of breathing there. But I find the elongated out breath, just starting off breathing and then just exhaling and go. Just allowing the hands just to glide across the eye line. Trance like just coming to the here and now. Breathing when you're ready and just exhaling. Just so not calibrating and synchronizing the breath with the motion. Just elongating the out breath. If you're going fast, elongate the out breath for as long as you like. We can do that staccato breath linking and calibrating the breath to the motion. That does become quite hard to keep up with. <sighs> Trying to sort of hyperventilate here enough for that one. But again, if you're doing that, do that for a short time, because that's a real energizing sort of buzzing type feeling you get from that. But always find the elongated out breath is a lot better with these flowing ones. Lovely, that's the 10th move of the Pilates Qigong sequence. Scooping the C next, 11, bang.